Hi. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the Friendly Frog Treehouse. My name is Miss Veronica. Welcome to Vacation Bible School. In Vacation Bible School, we're here to help you strengthen your mind, your body, and your soul. Mm -hmm. We strengthen the mind with the Word of God. We strengthen our bodies by exercising, and we strengthen our soul by becoming new creatures in Christ. So come on in. Have a seat. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Father, as we come to your throne of grace today, you're giving me your words to say. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that I speak exactly what you want me to minister to your little sons and daughters today. In Jesus' authority, I pray. Amen. Oh, my friends. So this is a good time to grab your headphones if you need them. Hmm. I have a question for you. Can you tell me the name of this paper? You can. Yeah, it's called money, dollars. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the angles of this dollar. What number do you see in the angles? Yeah, it's the number one. Can you show me one finger? Boop. <laughs> what? Number is in the corners of this dollar. Five, you're right. So boys and girls, this is five dollars. Can you show me five fingers? Mm -hmm. What about one finger? So we first looked at one dollar. Now we just looked at five dollars. So how much money do we have together? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six dollars. Six dollars. What are we gonna buy? What should we buy? <laughs> Boys and girls, I think I found some more money laying around. Yep, it's a rectangle. And what's in the corners? 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, boys and girls, we have $10. We have $10. How much do we have in all? Hmm, we had six. And then now we have $10. Let's take out some pencil and paper and see how much money we have. I'm going to share my screen with you. Take out my whiteboard. <laughs> so the first thing we had was we had one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, and we had six dollars. Whoa, we had six dollars, boys and girls. So boys and girls, that's our six dollars. So let's put the number. How much money is on this dollar? Yeah, this one's worth ten dollars. Whoa, we got to draw ten more. One dollar. Two dollars. Keep going, boys and girls. We have to write 10. Yep, we only have two for the $10. So three, four, five, six, make two more nine ah, and 
10. And boys and girls, put the number 10 there. <laughs> Whoa, remember a 10 is a one and a zero. All right, my friends. So let's count how much money we have so far. I'll use my check mark to make sure we stay on track. Here we go. One, two, three, keep going. Four, you can do it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, keep going, 11, we're almost there, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Whoa, we have $16, boys and girls. So the first number was a one. And what was the second number? A six, which is a little curve and a little curve inside. And that's the number 16. You are so smart, boys and girls. You know what's coming. Come on, kiss your brain. Come on. Boop. <laughs> Since we have $16, that's a lot of money. Do you, what do you think we should buy with that? Ice cream? Okay, what will you buy? A video game, whoa, a new phone, a new toy. Whoa, you're gonna buy what? An Xbox, whoa, boys and girls. And we do have a lot of money, hmm. But boys and girls, do you think we really need more toys or do we want more toys? <laughs> you need it. <laughs> So boys and girls, do you know what a need is and a want is? Well, let me share my screen with you so we can talk a little more about it. So take a look at my two friends here. So there's a mom who's holding what? A teddy bear, a truck. What other toys do you see there? Oh, two teddy bears. It looks like a computer and a notebook. What about the little boy? What is he holding? Popsicles, you're right. He has all colored popsicles. I don't know if that's good for his teeth. Let's count his popsicles. Let's start at the orange one on the left. Remember we talked about reading left to right? Let's start on the left with the orange popsicle. One, then move to the yellow one. Two, green one. Three, orange one. Four, is that pink? <laughs> Five, and purple one. Six. Have you ever ate six popsicles at once? Me either. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't know if it's good for his teeth. Probably too cold too. So boys and girls, do you think this little boy would need our $16? And if he had it, would he buy? So boys and girls, if we had six popsicles like this little boy. Do you think we need any more popsicles? <laughs> Probably not. Do you think we may want to put another popsicle in the middle of that green and orange one <laughs> to have seven popsicles? Well, maybe, but there's a difference between needing something and wanting something. So let's take a look at my little friend, Francesca. This is Francesca. What is Francesca doing? Well, she's eating her lunch. So boys and girls, eating a healthy meal is what we need to do. Getting seven popsicles on top of everything else, that might be something we want. So, do you think needs and wants are the same? Do you think they're equal? Hmm, no boys and girls, needs and wants are different. You need to eat healthy meals so that your body can stay 
healthy and strong and your teeth and bones can stay healthy too. You don't need another popsicle. That's a want. That's something that you want. And sometimes in life, we want things that aren't good for us. Boys and girls, that reminds me of something. Can you pull your Bible out? I'll wait for you. Whoa, you had it all ready to go? Oh, you remember in Bible class, we always have our Bibles handy. <laughs> so boys and girls, there's a little scripture I wanna share with you. It's found in Philippians. Do you remember how we look at Philippians? Hmm, so let's talk about the attributes of the book to kind of remind you of how we're going to find Philippians. So this is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. This is the spine of the book. What does the spine do? It holds in all the pages. And who's the author of this book? Yep, God the Father. He flip back the cover. I know you see your title page. Let's go to the table of contents. Do you remember? It's right after the title page. You got it, boys and girls. It looks just like this and it's called contents. And that's where all the books of the Bible are. Do you remember how many books are in the Bible? Whoa, you do, 66. <laughs> so boys and girls, in our Bible, we need to go to Philippians. Is the Philippians in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Yeah, it's in the New Testament. So remember, like we've been studying, go to the book of Philippians and then follow the dotted lines to see what page the book of Philippians is on in your Bible. I'm gonna do it too. Whoa, Philippians is on page 1083 for me. So let's go on a book walk, keep turning. Whoa, <laughs> did you find it? When you find it, give me a thumbs up. Whoa, you found it faster than I did, hold on. Uh, okay, I got it. Thank you, boys and girls. So do you remember what the chapter looks like? So yeah, that's right, the big numbers. So when you're in the book of Philippians, look at all the big numbers and look for the number four. Did you find it? Man, boys and girls, you are becoming quite the little book expert. Man, boys and girls, you are becoming quite the Bible expert. <laughs> so boys and girls, remember the colon tells us there's something coming after, and that's the verse. So let's go to verse 19. When you find it, give me a thumbs up. You got it? Awesome. So remember, I'm reading from the easy to read version. And when we're studying the Bible, you don't take someone's word for it. You look in the Bible and you read it yourself. That way you can't be tricked because you're reading it for yourself. And God wants us to read the Bible. If you need help, ask the grown up that's there to help you be safe, responsible, and respectful. And that takes care of you to read it to you. I'll read it to you now. It says, my God will use his glorious riches to give you everything you need. He will do this through Christ Jesus. Whoa, so God gives us everything we need? So, hmm, let's go back to the other picture, boys and girls. That kind of tells us that he just might not give us what we want. Yeah. This little boy might want a seventh popsicle because he had one popsicle. He wanted another one, so he got two. He wanted another one, he got three. He wanted another one, he got four, and another one, and another one, so he had six popsicles. So God doesn't give us what we want, boys and girls. He gives us what we need. So we can find out all God's words that he has for us by reading the Bible, because remember, the Bible is God speaking to us. His word is alive right now. And we can use it in our everyday lives to help us stay safe, responsible, and respectful. So let's see. Hmm, we know this is the Bible, 
But what do we know about money? <laughs> that we have a lot of it. Yeah, we had $16, remember? What else do we know about money? Yeah, money buys things. And we have to be very careful to only buy what we need. It's okay to get once sometimes, like maybe one popsicle, not six at one time. That's not very good for your body. And remember, our body is the temple of God. The Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. So we want to be safe, responsible, and respectful with our bodies. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, how will you know if something is a want or need? Yeah, that's a good idea, boys and girls. A need is something that you need, like a healthy breakfast. Sometimes. You can want a toy, but notice I said want a toy. But what can you do to earn that toy? You have to do something that's safe, responsible, and respectful. We don't just get things. Yeah, we have to earn them, boys and girls. And sometimes our parents will give us an allowance. Yeah, they give us money for doing chores. And then they'll take us to the store to get what we want. But sometimes we got to wait and save for it. But it's okay because they'll make sure all your needs are met. They'll give you a good house to live in, clothes and shoes and food to eat. Yeah, so we know there's a difference between something we want and something we need. Hmm, so the memory verse for today, boys and girls, is found in Second Philippians, or second. So the memory verse today, boys and girls, is found in Second Timothy verse Chapter three, you're right, verse 16. It says, my God will use his glorious riches to give you everything you need. He will do this through Christ Jesus. Whoa, boys and girls, we just learned what wants and needs are. I'm so glad that you came to the treehouse today to study with me, reading our Bible is something we need to do. It helps us learn how to live on this earth and helps us form a relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So boys and girls, have you ever asked Jesus into your heart? You haven't? Well, I'd love to pray for you. Just bow your head and repeat after me. Dear God, I know that I have done things that are against your will for me. I want to have a relationship with you. Please forgive me for my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe in my heart that Jesus died and rose on the third day to take away my sins. I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may do what you ask me to do. Thank you for saving me and letting me become your child. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, boys and girls. Wow, you have just asked Jesus to come live in your heart. Yeah. Wow, boys and girls, you just asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. I am so glad you allowed me to pray with you. I'd love to send you a copy of today's lesson. Your parents know how to get in contact with me. Remember, boys and girls, we can do all things through Christ Jesus who gives us strength. I'll see you in the next Vacation Bible School. See you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.